Welcome back, everyone. Now we're going to turn our attention and have a discussion about a trend that we either have taken part in or we can mostly agree that we have seen at a certain time of the year. And this is at the beginning of January, where it's likely we see people who commit to changing behaviors. So it might be an exercise regimen or a promise to eat cleaner. Maybe one might pledge to spend a little extra time prioritizing themselves. Or we might even look at our finances and try to be more responsible. So it's pretty common for us to look back on our successes and maybe our mishaps in the year past and think about how we can achieve things like better health, fulfillment, success, and even happiness in the year ahead. It's also really likely that our habits and our behaviors will be influenced by what's currently trending. Now, some take this to extremes, however, and this might be your client. So it could be anything from jumping on a popular diet of the time or maybe even doing a juice cleanse. This isn't necessarily bad, but taking things too far could be. So adding powdered collagen into our coffee in the morning or having a smoothie is one that I've heard of, but more commonly, a push to just become more physically active is what drives people to be in the gym that first week of the year. So there are obvious differences between a spin class or participating in a Tough mutter, but most of us have been there and done that. So we want to look at this and understand it a little bit differently and what it means to coaching our client holistically and also giving holistic nutrition advice. Now, while this last 20 years were largely defined by technology, this new decade we're in might be characterized more by something else entirely different. And some would say that for too long, our focus has been on consumption and convenience. As we went after the latest tech products, we also spent more and more time scrolling through social media and shopping online. Retail stores take a major hit because of technology granting us the power to shop efficiently without having to leave our homes. As a result, we're more exhausted and isolated than ever before. We're also realizing that our habits aren't the healthiest and it might be time for a change. As we look to the new decade ahead, we're encouraged by the growing emphasis on sustainability in everything that we do, from our homes and food to fashion and beauty, and also the food that we eat. There's a desire to take better care of not only ourselves, but our planet too. Let's talk more about some of the ways that our clients are looking to improve their holistic health. These are important because holistic nutrition coaches will typically have the same drivers for many clients, and we want to be able to understand what drives client behaviors. Prioritizing sleep will always be a goal for most of us, thanks to a six-letter word that's one of the leading factors of increased anxiety and depression rates, and we're talking about the word stress. Because younger generations are more stressed than ever before, they're seeking simple and attainable ways to relax, unwind, and recharge. Since childhood, we've been told to get seven or eight hours of sleep each night. This is because it's believed to help us maintain a healthy weight, it boosts our mood and immunity, and promotes mental clarity, and enables the body to repair itself. Although we've heard it before, this year might be the one where people actually start to listen. According to the American Sleep Association, between 50 and 70 million U.S. adults report having a sleep disorder of some type, with insomnia being the most common. In addition, 30% of children aren't getting enough sleep, which has been linked to decreased learning ability as well as physical and mental health issues. From establishing regular bedtimes and turning off our smartphones or downloading sleep apps and even screens that change colors to help us sleep, it's likely that we're going to be hearing about making sleep a priority for a long time. Now, of particular interest for a health or holistic nutrition coach would be the topic of red meat. Red meat has been at the center of nutritional debate for years, and things have really started to heat up again last year due to the emergence of plant-based meat alternatives like Beyond Meat and the Impossible Burger, which are actually pretty good. Consumers may be interested in reducing their meat consumption due to health concerns and environmental hazards. Meat-based alternatives have proven to be more sustainable as well. Now, plant-based protein also debunks the myth that we can only get protein from animal products, meaning that eating fish or meat may not be as vital as we once thought. 
In addition to replacing meat altogether, we're likely to see some hybrid products that incorporate vegetables with meat. According to Whole Foods, plants like mung bean, watermelon seed, and avocado will be integrated into protein powders and amino acids as sources for protein. It seems like a lot of brands are expanding their offerings to meet an increased demand because the public is willing to try these products for plant-based eating, and this is a diet that's beneficial for humans and our planet alike. As you would suspect, this is really important information for a holistic nutrition coach because many clients will be looking to make changes specifically with their nutrition and their protein intake. Holistic nutrition coaches might find this information really important because it's common for clients to not only want to make a change with nutritional intake, but the type of protein strategies that they use as well. Now, it probably won't surprise you to learn that many of the clients that you take on for holistic nutrition coaching are also the same type of person that care deeply for our planet and our climate. And there's no doubt that climate change is a rising concern for industries, brands, and even individuals. And in recent years, we've seen consumers gain more awareness around their buying and their eating habits based on this as well. It's not likely that buying habits and the impact that they have on our planet would ever be the focus for a holistic nutrition coach. But according to a recent survey, 81% of consumers prioritize brand ethics, meaning that they're interested in learning where their products come from and how they're sourced. And so this very much does, in fact, zero in on the work that a holistic nutrition coach does with their client. Sustainability in food has evolved to incorporate plant-based and vegan diets, which reduce greenhouse gas emissions and use less water. The retail industry has taken notice of this trend, too. Shoes, combined with discarded clothing, account for about 12.8 million tons of trash in the United States alone for the year 2018. This year, brands like Reebok and Adidas plan to unveil their first line of vegan sneakers made from eucalyptus, cotton, and corn. Sustainability and everything beyond food might suggest that there's something better in it for our planet, and it's better for business too. But how it relates to your client is really less about nutrition, but more about how they relate and live in the world holistically. And this is because it's a movement and something that people can feel part of. Part of living holistically and having clients who like to live holistically means that we need to understand some alternative perspectives on alternative medicine. Now, for a long time, people have associated illness with doctors and medicine. Within the health, wellness, and fitness arenas, we would view this maybe as a little bit more prescriptive because we would rather prevent problems that require any form of medical intervention in the first place. But if we had a cold, we would most likely take ibuprofen or something similar, or maybe even cough drops. If your symptoms were to progress or worsen, you would probably then call your doctor. However, there's been a recent shift in the way that people think about illness and preventative care for themselves. Instead of targeting a specific body part or an ailment, people are treating their whole bodies. And again, this is the definition of holistic. So there's been a growing demand for alternative methods of healing, and in 2019 alone, herbal supplement sales in the United States increased by 94%. Herbs known to boost immunity, like turmeric, elderberry, and green tea, topped the list. In addition, alternative medicine, which extends beyond herbs and include acupuncture, meditation, and yoga, is anticipated to expand by nearly 17% through the year 2026. This might be due in part to rising health care costs. At the same time, people are becoming more interested in chemical-free, natural remedies and learning how to find their own health solutions holistically. This is where the coach comes in. Going forward, this will be an exciting time for health and holistic nutrition coaches as they grow their own businesses and partner up with doctors' offices or even hospitals and clinics. So if there is one thing that we've learned recently is that people love to experience wellness. And this is not just on an individual or personal level, but corporate wellness is also becoming really popular. We have seen the emergence of one-stop shops like wellness clinics, which provide an array of services. And it's where the worlds of spa treatments, alternative medicine, and fitness collide. Again, this is holism. However, 
experiential wellness is expected to continue going further to bring us wellness-focused vacations, including yoga retreats, detoxes, and even fitness pop-ups for people like our client. So instead of cramming services into one day, there's an opportunity to have an extended stay with all things holistic and literally escape from the reality and stress of modern life. With offerings from sunrise hikes and healing baths to yoga and meditation, a lot of these wellness retreats have scheduled activities and eco-friendly programs on sustainable farms. In addition, many resorts advocate for more of a digital detox by prohibiting phone use while their clients are there. These retreats emphasize the importance of being present and being aware and living in the moment. The holistic approach to being well concentrates on the underlying disease processes, prevention of disease, and maintenance of long-term health, rather than providing a quick fix or being prescriptive. With the holistic approach to health, as coaches, we take into account the physical requirements needed to sustain a healthy lifestyle. So topics like sleep or even sustainability are those that holistic nutrition coaches want to be aware of because this is what the client brings to the table. Intrinsic to a holistic approach to health is holistic nutrition, of course. We incorporate natural and organic foods for prevention of disease and to promote long-term optimal health holistically. In a way, this is all a summary of being a holistic nutrition practitioner or coach.